Well, welcome back. The final three teams all performed twice last night on Dancing with the Stars. They had to perform the judges' choice. That's always interesting, what the judges want to see. And then the popular freestyle dances where we got to see a lot of personality. We welcome back Hunter Lyle from Lexington's Arthur Murray Dance Studio as we are down to the end of the season. Can you believe it? We're at the end. It seems like yesterday we just got started with week number one. And here we are with three competitors that are absolutely fantastic. They're some of the best we've ever seen. And we were talking a little bit before we got on air. It's one of the closest performances and closest ties almost I've ever seen, too. It really is. It certainly will come down uh, to a lot tonight as we head into the finals. But we'll start with the couple who is on top, but they're tied. So it's so close. We don't even have a true first place. Chelsea Kane and Mark Ballas sambaed their way to 29 out of 30. You know, they look amazing. I was watching this last night, and she is right on with him. It's very hard to tell as we were talking who is the professional and who's the amateur. They're really in sync together. Their performance skills are great. Their movements are right on, and she connects with her partner and the audience really well. She has uh, really given her all, and especially these last few weeks, has has really shown how strong of a, of a competitor she is. Now we're seeing the freestyle competition where uh, they got a perfect score, even though they had a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction with her <laughs> light pack going out with that uh, uh, costume there. You know, I like it. I like the lights, the glow in the dark theme. And if you notice last night, there were a lot of lifts and a lot of aerial movements, which are very tricky to pull off. But they did it not only while they were in the light, but they did it in the dark, too. So <laughs> it was pretty exciting. And then, uh, as we said, a tie for first place. They are tied uh, with um, Heinz Ward and his partner, Kim Johnson. Their quick step got him a near perfect with 29. Yeah, that was an amazing dance. I mean, he all the way through has done an amazing job. And if you watch him, he's more flexible now. He's more connected to his partner. He really looks good out there. He looks like he's having a ball, too, and having a great time. He's a tremendous performer and an amazing athlete. Again, they're tied, so they did a great job. They got a 30 for their freestyle with a drumline uh, halftime show theme. And I think what's impressive me about him throughout the season. He wasn't one of my favorites going into it, but he's really shown he can do a lot of different styles of dance. I agree with you. His flexibility and his agility has come through. And as far as each level, each style is different. And again, his final performance, what a show. I mean, that was a tremendous showmanship out there, tremendous dance together. I really enjoyed watching that one, actually. And as we know, athletes historically do very well, so it'll be interesting to see how he does in the finals. And finally, Kirstie Alley, probably the fan favorite of those uh, still standing for her down-to-earth personality. They, uh, they're in last place, but they didn't do too bad. They got triple nines with their samba. Yeah, their samba looked nice. It had a very natural sense to it. I mean, you got to admire her for coming all this way and doing it right to the finish. She's lost weight. She looks fantastic, and she's always had a good spirit about her all the way through. She never got mean. She always stayed humble, and if you look at her at the end, she looks at the floor a little bit, but really has done a great job, and she's in the final. And at 60, she is the oldest competitor to ever make it to the final, so hats off to her for that showing. You can always learn to dance and uh, stay active. That's right. It's very it's an ageless sport. If you look, you can start young, you can start older, it doesn't matter, and you can learn to dance and be healthy and have a great time, too. Well, you are going to give our viewers a chance to win dance lessons right now. Absolutely. Here we are in the final stretch. So call now if you want to learn to dance. You're going to get two free lessons to get started. So call now, 278-7711. You're going to get two free lessons, plus get entered in the drawing for 50 private lessons, which we can announce next week. So call now, 278-7711. First, 36 callers. You're going to get two free lessons. If it's busy, keep calling. And the performers will get one more chance tonight. The judges will score them again to see who gets pushed through to the mirror ball trophy. What's your pick? Boy, we're down to the wire. I think probably Heinz Ward is still on top, but like we said, kind of got a little battle here. You know, Chelsea or Heinz? Which one do you think? Um, I'm going to go with Chelsea, but it will come down to tonight's performance. I think it'll absolutely decide who's going to win. I think so, win. too. It could be either or tonight. Tune in tonight. We'll find out who wins. Thanks for being with us.